In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the minimum, the max, and the average functions that are available with the SQL language. And if I look at my data, which I've got pulled up, there may be only two columns that this will make sense on. And that may be the minimum price, the maximum price, and the average price, as well as maybe I want to know the minimum date that my books uh, that I have in inventory are showing up and the maximum date that's showing up and maybe even an average date just to get a collective idea of um, the average range of books um, published that I have in my database itself. So we'll do that real quick. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, instead of select and then the asterisk for everything from books, we're going to go ahead and say price. And I need to run this as a function. And so the functions that I have are the min, max, and average. And so if I do the min function around the word price, this is going to return back to me the minimum price that I have. And since this is only 10 records, it's really easy to understand which one's going to come back. It should be the 499. So if I run this, you'll see there it is, 499. That's the minimum price. And of course, I could rename this as minimum priced book. And now if I rerun this, it just changes the title of my column, minimum price book. Now I can also change this to maximum, so I'll just change this, the title, which is not needed, but just to make it dressed up a little bit nicer. Instead of min, let's go ahead and run max. And so I'm going to say select max price, and I'm going to go ahead and run this, and you'll see that now it's the max price was $19.99. And if I took out the as, there we go, and run this, you're going to see now it just says max, the function that was actually called 1999. So that's the min and the max. And same thing happens for average. Average is just AVG is all I need to use for the average function. And I hit run. And you're going to see that the average price is 1559. So let's go ahead and pull back all of my records here. Let's run all of my records from my database. That was using the price. And so we were able to pull off an average. We were able to pull off a min, max. Of course, I could use conditions as well. I could also say um, the average price of the book from author number one. And so if I were to do that, let's go ahead. Actually, let's change it to author number two since there's a difference in prices here for author number two. Let's go ahead and say select. And we're going to go ahead and do the average. And we're going to do, again, price. And we're going to do from books. But our condition is going to be where author ID equals 2. And what this is going to do is give me the average price of all the books from author number 2. So if I hit run, you'll see that's 1099 for the average price for all those authors. And of course I could do min uh, for the minimum price from author number 2, which is 499. And I could do max from author number 2. And that's going to be 1399 for that author. So this gives me some differences as far as um, being able to pull off some quick functions for the minimum, max, and average. I can also do the same thing for something like year. Now, the price is a number field. The publication date, if I run a describe on my table real quick, let's see, describe books, you can see that the price is a number field. Uh, publication date, even though I've got numbers in there, is a ver char too or varchar data uh, type. So let's go ahead and see what happens if I run this on a ver uh, basically a character or a string data type. So if I did select all from books and now let's just take a quick look. I'm going to do publication date. So let's do select and let's go ahead and do min and I'm going to use pub date from books and hit run. You'll see that even though it is not a number data type, it still will actually pull off because I've got numeric values within this field. So I was able to pull off the minimum of my publication date as well. And that's just because I've got numbers in there for this to make sense. And of course, I could also do the max for pub date. And I hit run. And you'll see 2010 is the max. And I could also do the AVG for the average run that and you'll see the average was the year 2000 a little bit more than more than half of the year 2000.88 of the year so that's the average of that so this concludes the video on using the min max and average functions within sql